Jackson over, waiting for the fight. Okay, round number one of 15, a championship of the world, middleweight, and that's Carlos Monzon, obviously, with his back to you. Knock you out with one punch to throw. Valdez has 38 knockouts. 59 wins. Pretty good right hand. Almost landed. Lands off the shoulder of Carlos Monzon. Look how tall Monzon is. These two really know one another, don't they? They do, and they, they respect each other's abilities, but... Uh, I don't think they're the best of friends. The way it should be. Two minutes left in round number one. It's the middleweight championship of the world. A little wild with that swing and left hook. My own tight encounter that did not land anything. Fighters sort of looking the other one over still. <laughs> Roland Dakin is the referee and a very, very competent official in the ring. Monzon's like a cat. He's ready for every move that Valdez is making. One minute left in round one. Remember, they went 15 last July. Right up the cut left hook, both of them blocked by Valdez Close. Quick, quick, quick. That right up the cut landed with no power. Rodrigo's a pretty good-looking body puncher, isn't he? That he is. Uh, you know, Monzon uh, doesn't seem to be that fluid with his movements in the first round. Fifteen seconds left in the first one. from Monte Carlo. Valdez to the right, up off his stool early. Monzon sort of standing by his. And no hurry, apparently, the world champion. He's a champion. He's going to dictate the pace of this fight. I gave the first round to Monzon, but I saw uh, an extreme confidence in Valdez. Carlos Monzon is 34 and will be 35 next month. Rodrigo's 31. Kind of back Valdez up, but I don't think it really hurt him. He doesn't do a lot of moving. Now, the feet, he doesn't do much flashy moving, does he? Jim? No, he just throws the hands. That's what he went through with. Good hook coming out. Good countering hook by Valdez. Valdez. Two minutes left. Round two. Valdez is stalking. <laughs> Carlos is a cool customer, isn't he? He sure is. You know, this guy's throwing some shots at him. He's just playing it cool. Monzon got that head out of the way just in time. Using that left hand. 
Ooh, they changed right here. Well, don't blend it better. Just cut a little bit. There's a little blood coming it's from the nose of Carlos. From the eye. All right. From the eye. All right. We're going to check that out. Keep watching that eye of Carlos. One minute left in round two, and the champion is cut. And he is bleeding, but he's fighting. That came from one of those swinging right hands. Oh, and there goes Marco. A wicked right hand. The second time in his career, he's been down. And he's never been knocked out. Oh, he did another solid right hand. He's hurt now. Valdez has the champion in real trouble. Fifteen seconds left in round two. And the bell can't save you. Don't forget that. The bell can't save you. Jerry, what? Here it is. Chopping right hand, right on the button, and down he went. He just dropped to one knee, and that's something you don't see Monsoon do very often. Yeah, Rodrigo said he was going to come out hot and put the pressure on, and he, he's not kidding. In the second round, he has cut the champion and knocked him down. And then wobbled him again with another right hand. Oh, right after that, he did it again. Here's the Rodrigo's up early. His left eye is puffy a little bit, but Monsoon is the champion that was down. That had to be a complete surprise for Monzone. He knows this man can hit, but now he definitely knows. Gary, how well did they close up that cut? Check it. It was closed very well. He had a complete amount of swelling on uh, Valdez's left eye. He said he was going to come out smoking, and he did. Rodrigo's getting a little bit impatient. They call it one-two by Carlos Monzon. On the swollen eye of Rodrigo Valdez. Short inside right hand, solid on Valdez's job. Valdez was set up to throw something and got counted. <laughs> kind of a sportsman-like thing by Monzon, but then when the man reset himself, he started punching again. Half bullfighter, this man from Argentina. minute left in round three. Monzon seems to have gotten back his pace a little bit. He's kind of lost his tool in that last round, but he's kind of got it back right now. Champ is scoring rather well here in round three, I'll tell you. He's counter-punching very well. Another right hand right on Monzon's chin. 50 seconds. Punch is being blocked by Valdez's glove. It seemed like Valdez had Monzon on the ropes more in that other fight, the one last year. Funny look out of Monzon's eyes there. It's almost like he thought that one was gonna land, huh? Yeah. Like he, he thought he was gonna receive some damage. Closing seconds of round three. Now oh, there's a buckle. Round three, and Carlos Monzon shooting up off the deck and took the, the third round, don't you think, Joe? 
won the third round rather easily because Valdez kind of rested on his laurels of the second round. We're in round four now. I'll tell you, these two, you're right, Jerry, do not like one another. No, they don't, but let me tell you, you're watching boxing at its best. Both these men are good fighters. Good left hook on Valdez's chin. Valdez's left cheekbone is really swelling now. And the constant left hand. I think Valdez is relying too much on the big punch. He's not setting up the, the big punch with combination. Three minutes left in round four. Good body shot by Valdez. That's where he's going to take, take the legs out of the 35-year-old fighter. Boy, and he's making no free dance. That's what he wants to work on. He's going to have to stay inside because Montone has the longer reach and has more power at the end of his punches than Valdez does. in the white truck. He's from Columbia. Good right hand by Valdez. Monzone is hitting him with just about everything he's throwing there. Carlos is really shaking the cobwebs too. He is just like he's in control of his senses. A minute left now. Ooh. They're both trying to good shots there. Right hand once in a while. Looks like it's going to come over the top and catch him again. And Valdez keeps threatening with it. Partially blocked by the gloves, but didn't do that much damage. See, Valdez is throwing wild punches. He's not putting them together right. Say that Monzo can throw that straight right hand. Yeah, that he can. Oh, that one was blocked by the glove again. 20 seconds left in round four. The way Monzo throws, even if he's blocking with the glove, you're going to do some damage. Five, 15 seconds. Don't go away. There she is, and football season just around the corner. Phyllis George, her husband Robert Evans is here. He's on the whole drive to his seat. We can't wait to get on with it on CBS. We have. Baltimore Colts against the Houston Oilers on the 14th of August, and we're off and running with pro football. And what does Phyllis look great? Von Zone is some kind of a boxing champion. You've been telling me that for years, Jerry, and I know now what you're talking about. I'll tell you, the football team is going to be great. Phyllis looking great, and this fight is great. That cut is not... Any problem at all for Monzone, apparently, huh? It hasn't Strong. started bleeding. No, it hasn't been any problem. Strong left jab now being used by Valdez. Oh, oh good right hand. He got him pulling back, so it didn't land with full effect. Good jab by Valdez again. That's what Joe Clarence has told him to do in between rounds. You've got to start using your left jab to set your punches up. That right hand for Monzone. Everybody else in this place at once, and we're an outdoor stadium that sounds like we're indoors, doesn't it? Punch can be dangerous on the side of the head, can it, Jerry? That's the one that, that makes you lose your equilibrium. Long zone recovered. Good jab by Valdez. Long 
Ron Cohen was on the deck in the second round, and he has come back fighting.
hook on top that time, too. Threw it up there, but he kind of lunged with that one, and I think Monzon expected it. It's working. It's working from a far distance. That's a surprise. this round, by the way, we'll have a station break for all you stations on the PBS network, so hangs up. Oh! Overhand right, but it was at the end of the punch, so it didn't do that much damage. Still a minute and a half left, too. Round seven. Boy, Clancy, Joe Clancy, yelling from Valdez's corner about holding and hitting. I'm screaming about holding Valdez behind the neck. Good body shot by Valdez. You are truly watching a classic. There's no doubt about it. It's even more than we thought. Extremely good fight by two real professionals. Look at the face on Carlos Monzo when you get a chance. Look at this. Wow. And he came out of it, turned it into an offensive move. Nice move. Nice move. That was a lot of experience. A warning for Monzo about holding and hitting with that hand. About 20 seconds left in the round now. This is CBS. Rams meet the Vikings next Saturday night. They went right out in round eight and started just like this. And Jerry, you gave Valdez the last round. That's the first round since the second round that, I, in my opinion, he won. He's puffy around both cheekbones. That's as a result of that strong left jab of Carlos Monzon. and then the Monzon people come, oh, left counter right here. The right hand again, sneak right over. And you see what Connells looks like now. No damage done by the punch. He didn't even respond to it. Most of those are blocked by Monzon, and he can use those ropes. He hasn't done it a lot. There he is. <laughs> the taller fighter, he's leaning back. He doesn't have a pulse beat. Incredible. Oh, that punch almost. It was one inch away from being there. Out of Monzon, the champion is rewarded for hitting while they are in the punch, and the referee was working on it. Against the rules, the hold and hit. Now, this is forcing the fight now. He's making Monzon. Use those legs. Remember the overhand right that Valdez has slipped in there about three times already this fight. That's right. It's been effective and caused a lot of damage. Good left foot to the body, followed by a hit by Valdez. They say that Rodrigo is a good finisher. We're going to find out because he's wasted a lot of energy in his first round. There he is. That cut on those eyes just started bleeding again. Good double hook. Double hook, the second one upstairs landed. Look on Monzon's face. He never shows panic much. Hang close. This is only the end of eight. Round nine. Round 
Valdez uh, took the eighth round, Jerry, in your opinion? I think he took the seventh and eighth round. He looks like he's trying to take control of the fight. He's definitely forcing it. The judges are Habach of Germany, Paletti of Italy, and Roland Dakin, the referee in the ring, of course. They will decide. Ooh. Oh, you <laughs> know he's glad that one goes. Keeping that left hand working. Now Valdez seemed to be backing off of that pursue and destroy thing he was on last round. Still does not look like he's worried. Look at that. Still time, the other man has to take it away from him. People from Colombia, including Gil Clancy in that corner. Think that Monzo's fighting goody. I'll tell you about those on him now. The punches thrown by Monzon are shorter and quicker, and they're landing much better than Valdez's punches. Almost two minutes gone in round nine. Look at the eye open, has it? No, it hasn't this time. When you look at the intent look on Monzon's eye, he's, he's picturing his target out there. Valdez, while bruised around the face, doesn't appear to be in any real danger there. Good double look, but he's kind of programmed. But Carlos is never really there when the big ones show up. Not too often. Oh, right hand. Didn't even slow Valdez down. by Valdez and a good, another good left hook. Oh, Ball is strong. Ball is with a hit butt there, Tommy. than Valdez punches out. First time Monzon went on the road for Marge Athena. He knocked out Nino Benvenuti and won the middleweight championship. Good right hand by Monzon. Right on that eye. 
Okay. Valdez can just let it all hang out right now. Gotta stay away though until he can get some repair work. That'd be Jerry. I don't know if, he, if it'll be enough. Look at the courage of Valdez. Wow. Taking shot after shot and still throwing them. Remember, the bell won't save anybody. They count on through it. That cut is very bad. Um, the doctor will have to take a look at it, but only that referee can stop this fight. Don't forget that. What a beating Valdez has taken. Right hand shot, right into the same area. Time after time after time, and he's still fighting. The middleweight championship and Roland Dakin, the English official, has sent Valdez back to the corner. And the IMC is working on it. Look at this now. In between rounds, Joe Clancy had to do some severe work on that eye because it is a Bad, bad cut. You know, Ron will go right after it. He's got a super sneaky right hand that he slips over the top. The middleweight championship, and perhaps Carlos Manzone's last fight. What a fight. Remember, the doctor looks at it, but it is the referee's judgment and decision to stop it or let it continue. It's a bad cut. It's a bad cut, but, uh, well, it just now starts bleeding again. Well, I'll tell you, Rodrigo Valdez is some kind of a man. I'm telling you. He's nailed right on that eye again. As tough as they come, buddy. And Monzo is just measuring now, calculating. <laughs> Not bleeding too much. Whatever they put on there, what do they put on? Well, it depends. I, it might have something on it that shouldn't be on there, so I'm not going to mention it. It's dripping a little bit. But it was pumping last round. Got hit another good shot right on it. And he still is throwing punches, Jerry. He's not catching all of them. Valdez is still in the fight. Oh, he, with the punchy power he's got, he's never out of the fight. One minute left in the 11th round. And not too much damage by Monzon in this round. But he is throwing the, the precision punches. The other man is kind of wild. And the, the eye is pouring badly again. Carlos takes a look at it from close range. Boy, that is some bad left eye. Boy, it is that. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Monzone showing a lot of style, switching right and left handed just to get his punches in. Remember, Carlos was on the deck in the second round. Valdez looked over to his corner wondering, uh, what can I do? It's not over, folks. Incredible fight, the 12th round. They worked on the eye feverishly in Valdez's corner, and Monzo's looking at it again right now to see how bad it is. This is Carlos's last fight. It would be a big one for him, wouldn't it? Go back to his ranch. He wants to pursue a movie career, which he's already done a couple. I would think right now that Valdez would have to land the right punch to 
the minimums on the window screen, Tom. Boy, he is like a snake, too. He knows when to move in, when to move out. He is quick. Carlos Monson, the champion. You know, he never wastes the move. him up in there. Valdez is so frustrated because when he gets in there, then he finally gets tied up and he's taking a couple of... Oh, yeah. I don't think it did that much damage. That, 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 that might have. He looks to be hurt now. That eye doesn't seem to be bothering Valdez now. No, but he's got to land a few more of those shots. A minute and a half left. Now. His mouth has been bleeding since the first round, but now it's really showing. Right hand by Carlos, right on the button. Whereas nothing else with an awful lot of ability, Rodrigo Valdez is one tough customer with a lot of heart. There are those ropes that give a little bit of room to the taller fighter. When I was in the ring earlier today, the ropes seem to be tight, but they're very flexible. 30 seconds left. Ooh, that's right up and cut by Valdez. By my nose. You Valdez has backed off a step. He knows he can't now. He's got to just throw everything he can. Hopefully he can catch this man. Monzon has been cut since the second round, and has, that cut has not been reopened. Here at ringside, everybody sort of nods that Valdez probably has to knock Carlos Monzon out to win this fight. fight. Right, we're on a 10-point bus system, and uh, I've only given three rounds. I've only given three rounds to Valdez, and one of them was a, an extra a two-point round, but uh, he doesn't have enough points to win this fight by decision. Let's see if he still has punching power and that quickness. Let's see if Valdez still has the potential to knock him out. I think he does. He still looks strong. I think if he catches him right, he can get rid of him. from Colombia, who would love to spoil the swan song of Carlos Monzon. I can tell you one thing, if Monzon does retire, I have a sincere feeling that Valdez will be your next champion. He and Vinny Briscoe and a couple of others will be very interested in this fight today. Two oh. minutes left now. Prize fights like this that really do the job. This, this is the kind of fight that tells you boxing will be here for a long, long time. Now Valdez just throwing every punches from everywhere. He got butted right there. People at home think it's easy. Just hold your arms up for three minutes and see how heavy they get in a hurry. They have half left. Nothing at all easy about it, Tom. by Valdez, nobody behind it. Monzo seems to be still cool. He didn't seem to be shaken by that. Oh. Hitting inside at close range. It's kind of a frustrating effort by Valdez now. He's hoping he can get lucky and catch, catch him with that one shot. Some cut though. They did a good job in closing that off and allowing him to continue. Gil Clancy is one of the better cut men in the business. He kept him in this fight. How long is 
30 seconds. That's what's left in this round. And this is the 13th. Get him, get him, get him, get him. seems to have lost that spring, doesn't he? The flex too. Is that but the power is still there? The World Middleweight Championship on the line, the champions on the left, and the challenger, Rodrigo Valdez, is on the right and still pumping in the 14th. Still throwing punches with the uh, ever fading hope of landing that right one. Carlos has gone the distance 27 times, so he's an incredible athlete in this. I would think now that Carlos should just kind of maintain his school and move and box. I think he knows he's got the fight in hand. Let's see if we can fix some of that ring noise up. The punches themselves and the shuffling and all. We'll keep quiet and just listen to that sound in there. Uh, he is really a fighting machine. 
Look at the condition of these two fighters, huh? Oh, unbelievable. Careful, but Dicky Vicky, right? That Valdez is just throwing everything. A minute, a minute left in this fight. It's a cool evening, but this is some kind of a fight. The crowd is getting left hook by Valdez. That is now bleeding again over Valdez's left eye. 45 seconds left. Valdez Dream has to do it all inside of 45 seconds. Dream of Valdez is kind of fading into the sunset. They'll tell stories about this one for a long time. This has been one great middleweight fight. The man from Santa Fe, the great man from Argentina. Carlos Monzo's last fight looked like successful. Defending his middleweight title. Ten seconds left. Watch these two fighters when it's all over. Watch them closely, people. All right. Let's go to Pat Summerall in New York City. Patrick, you got it. All right, time. Tomorrow afternoon, CBS Sports will bring you the Texas 200 Auto Race live at 4 p.m. Eastern Time from College Station, Texas. Then next Saturday, CBS Sports has a full afternoon of events lined up for you. Starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, you'll see a top field of professionals in the International Tennis Tournament. And following that, it's the third round of the Sammy Davis Jr. Greater Hartford Open Golf Tournament. And at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, CBS Sports Spectacular will present highlights of the Daytona 200 Motorcycle Race and the Men's World Cup Surfing Championships from Hawaii. That all starts next Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's fight, by the way, is just one of a series of championship bouts you'll be seeing here on the CBS Sports Spectacular. September the 17th, for example, you'll be seeing Victor Galindez defending his WBA light heavyweight title. But right now, let's return to Tom Brookshire and Jerry Quarry and Monte Carlo for the decision. I'm new to boxing, but it's the emotional thing, and a fight of this caliber is different than other things. There's the champion. That was as good as world title fighters who ever won to look at. Anybody thinks they don't enjoy boxing by watching that, they got problems. Remember the last time he lost was October the 6th, 1964. Think about it. 101 fights, 81 straight without a loss, 61 knockouts. You know, this is who's wiping his face right now is Miguel Angel Cuello, the WBC light heavyweight champion. Carlos owns a big ranch in Argentina where he specializes in raising thoroughbreds, cattle, and good-looking women. Each fighter extremely popular. Many Colombians came to Monte Carlo. And they wanted Rodrigo Valdez, their man. L'arbitre, Monsieur Dakin, a donné à Carlos Monzon 144 points à Valdez 141. Monsieur Alba, 147 pour Monzon, 144 pour Valdez. Monsieur Poletti a donné 145 points pour Monzon, 143 pour Valdez. Et déclaré vainqueur, Monzon. The champion is still the champion. He will retire as the middleweight champion of the world. Carlos Monzon, last fight, was certainly the last to run, Jerry. All right, Tom Brookshire for Jerry Corey. Say so long. This has been a CBS Sports Spectacular presentation of CBS Sports.